We're a group of local trade unionists. I'm the teachers union secretary for Lewisham. Been actively campaigning around this area for a very long time, particularly about the threats to some of our local schools to become academies. And then we're a group of local activists, housing campaigners, different trade unionists, all coming together to say all of the main parties aren't really challenging the real problems about cuts in austerity, and so we're standing to make that challenge. 130 candidates around the whole country, so we're actually the sixth largest stand of any party. I'm a local teacher, I teach just up the road, in a moment the kids will come past and wonder what I'm doing in the back of the tuk-tuk, but uh, I'm also the local trade union representative, so I'm based in the town hall helping people with their cases, whatever issues come up in the area. Okay, have you been... <laughs> I'm not going anywhere. If I did get elected, I would be here more than ever. I'd spend my whole time being in the community, in schools, talking to youth, talking to people on the estates, all the people that need representing that aren't being represented at the moment by the, by the whole political system. Okay, but you're not saying you'd be a part-time MP. You'd sort of oh, no, it's, but you'd sort it's, of, it's you'd... a full-time job, but the thing is, what we want to be is MPs who realise that you don't really change things just by being in Parliament. You change things by being somebody who can speak up and represent people and lead the local campaigns. You know, the people who need something done about housing, that need th something done about schools, about wages. You know, we can be the people who can speak up for them and come and speak to them and make them feel part of politics, which they don't at the moment. We wouldn't join any of those coalitions because all of those coalitions are going to say the same thing. Whichever, whichever group comes together, they're all going to say they're going to carry on making the cuts. We'd say we'll join a coalition if it's prepared to say no cuts, no austerity, but that's not going to exist. Not this time round. We're looking for the future when we would want to form a government, a government that was genuinely against cuts and actually a very different way of doing politics. No to austerity, decent homes, decent wages, use the wealth of the 1% to meet the needs of the 99%. I think our top rate of income tax would be, you know, right up towards the 100% for some people. You know, seriously. But we're talking, that the key point is that we're not talking about middle class people, we're not talking about some of my teaching colleagues who are still struggling even if they're on reasonable incomes. We're talking about the you know, 0.01% of people who are sitting on billions of pounds worth of wealth. That's the wealth that we need to take. Thank you. Well, one sacrifice I'll make that perhaps some of the colleagues here behind me aren't going to make is that we're standing, most of us are standing in task as a workers' MP on a workers' wage. So the sacrifice that I'll make is that I'm not going to take the full, t the full MP salary. I'll stay on my classroom teacher's wages. Yeah. And anything extra above my teacher's salary I'll be using for local campaigns uh, in the area to support trade unions, to support communities. Because we think that even some of the best MPs, once they get into Parliament, they're on a different kind of lifestyle. And that's what changes you. Now, I don't want to change. Is that through your own personal ethics or is that party policy? It's, it, not, it's not official TUS policy, but lots of TUS candidates do, do stand on that. Yeah, I've never you... looked. Yeah. I've never looked. So if I am, I dread to think what they say. But, uh, uh, do you know if you have a nickname at school? No, not that I'm aware of. But uh, no, let's let's. I, I'm 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 not right. sure of, of, of one that I have. <laughs> I was I was a I was a good lad. I studied hard and got my exams. That's what I tell. That's what I tell the kids here to do. My main, my main way of getting out of all of it is cycling. So on a Sunday morning, you'll yeah. find me at 8 o'clock in Pench High Street yeah. with, with, the, with the other middle-aged men in Lycra, getting on our bikes and going cycling off to the hills of Kent. It's a great way of exercising and, and resting your right. brain a little. Oh, wow. I was about to do it with my phone. Oh, yeah. yeah okay. Sorry. Yeah, of course you can. Come on, why not? Come, come and join us. <laughs> yes, right then. Uni yes, Unity together you. in Bellingham. Yes, Bellingham for us, man. Good okay. to meet you. Yeah, nice to meet you. I'm, too, I'm yeah. Martin. I teach up the road at uh, at Bellingham. Okay. Uh, on, 
at uh, Connorsbury College. Oh, right. And I'm, I'm standing in the general election for the for task for the Trade Unionist and Socialist Coalition. All I can wish you all the best. Well, thank you. And good luck. Thank you. Good luck. That's all I can say. <laughs>